So here I am at the start of a Grand War campaign. Uh, we're playing Empire, and I'm playing this one very hard. And uh, I'm going to play as Volkmar the Grim, uh, purely because I've played the other two and I've not played him. So yeah, I'd, I'd dive in with him. Also, I'm interested in uh, giving these Knights of the Blazing Sun a go to see what they look like. They look pretty cool. But yeah, let's go. Let's jump in. I will watch this. Drums of war never cease. For the old world lies in great peril. nations. As gods battle for the world's fate, I make my own humble contribution in the employ of the newly anointed Emperor. Even now, we make haste to the Emperor's ancestral capital. For the demented Rachnik Spider Claw leads an attack on Altdorf's walls. My charge is Karl Franz, the true wielder of Gal Maraz. But as he fights to secure his status as Emperor, Will his reign strengthen the nation? Or lead it to ruin? Oof. I mean, as far as the intros goes, that's one of my favorites. And I think they, they've just ramped everything up. Creative Assembly, good job. I love this game. I love all your games, to be honest. I've got most of them. But I think, as far as the cutscenes go and stuff as well, um, probably the best I've seen. Here we have me checking out Valkmar the Grim. He's definitely got his own flavour and feel uh, compared to Balthazar and uh, the Emperor Cold Franz. Uh, he's got a couple of unique abilities, Grand Hammer of Sigmar, Grand Shield of Faith, Grand Soulfire. Um, these are like unique battle prayers. Um, he's also got the War Altar of Sigmar. Uh, and he's also got these abilities which can buff flagellant units, which I plan on using a lot, especially in the early stages of the game. Uh, things like War Eternal and Work of God. So I'm happy uh, with how unique Bogmar feels. Um, once I've finished checking him out, though, I take a look at the map around me. I've got some Reichland Successionists to deal with, and you'll see me deal with them now. Beat first. Alright, anyway. <clears throat> Let's kill these successionists and I can have a look at these, these uh, Knights of the Blazing Sun. Sounds like a song that does. Flagellants. You'll, you'll see me use a lot of flagellants. They're awesome. Because they're kind of. I don't feel too bad about sending them to the deaths because they're, uh, they're kind of a death cult, you know? They don't care. You're going to come to me. Not like you are. Cavalry ready. I reckon. Sigma guide us. Yep, they are still spied because of the hill. Dude. No rush then, lads. 
me have a quick look at these dudes. Oh, f me, they've got glowing lances. Oh, wow, they look cool. Wowzies. They look badass. I thought Reichlin Knights looked cool, but these dudes, holy c What have they got then? Anti-infantry. Oh, yeah. And they do fire damage. Look at that shit right there. Flaming attacks. It's so cool. Yep, so I mean here you can see me getting everyone into position. At the moment my Knights of the Blazing Sun are um, hidden by the hill. So I'm taking advantage of that and moving them into a position where they can get um, get to the enemy easily when we are locked into combat. Uh, so that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm also having a look at my units, looking at what they look like. Yeah, it's Volkmar, he looks pretty damn cool, doesn't he? Um, as well do, I've got a bunch of mods on one of them, uh, reskins, how the Empire troops look. There'll be a link to that in the description somewhere. So just keep an eye on that if you want your Empire troops to look as cool as that. Um, one of the mods I've got on here as well adds formations into the mix as well. Um, formations are really useful. They give you loads of different bonuses. Uh, bonus to melee defense, uh, but it'll take away other stuff as well, depending on the formation. So it might make you, yeah, give you an extra to melee defense, but it might make you slower. So stuff like that. Uh, anyway, so I decide to start moving my men up now as my Blazing Sun Knights are sufficiently nearish to the enemy. Uh, and they then start moving their units up as well, and then we eventually engage in combat. So I've got my flagellant wall, uh, my meat shield wall, as it were, in the front. They're going to soak up most of the um, arrow shafts that are going to come through, or the crossbow bolts. Getting into the combat pretty soon, I've decided to put my uh, archers on the attack of their crossbow, my crossbow men to attack their crossbowmen as soon as they uh, get close enough. And um, I'm gonna eventually have my flagellants just run in there when the yeah like that when the when the crossbow bolts start to fly. Yep, there we go. And I've just ordered my flagellants to charge. I'm gonna follow up with my spearmen and swordsmen, but as they are in formation, they're gonna move a little slower. And then now, now they're locked into melee, I'll start my uh, cycle charge with my blazing sunlights. I'll show you what that looks like. Looks pretty good. Um, go ahead and free fire now. I want to see this. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> That's most of that unit dead already. We are a shock cavalry, so we'll cycle charge into there. Yep, and that's pretty much what I'll do. Uh, move them out of the melee. You don't want to keep them in there too long. They're only meant for shock, um, so the initial burst in like that. Um, I think I did make a mistake here where I left them in a little too close, uh, too, a little too long. Yeah, we've got a slow motion cap of, of me just um, fighting them with my flagellants and spearmen. You can see that the spearmen are in phalanx formation, so they're very much just poking them and keeping them away with a wall. And they, they do tend to last a lot longer whilst in this formation. Um, those archers are annoying, they're back, so I'm just going to have my uh, knights just charge them. Hey! Run them down. Then the flashlights after them. You can stay the tatter souls. Oh, look, well, that's cool. The tatter souls. Did you hear that? That's cool. Bit of unique voice acting. Like for one unit. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the reason like flagellants are awesome is because look look at their um, HP bar. There's like 33 of 120, but their uh, white bar, the morale bar, is still up there. They're still gonna fight, and that's because they've got unbreakable. They're not gonna run, not till the last man's dead anyway. And they won't run; they'll be dead, won't they? So they don't run point blank. Four units left with the spearmen's. Um, have these guys stop firing the firing into our dudes. Oh, 
They're also good at like chasing down units though, flagellants. I think I'm going to use a lot of these because they're just so useful. You know, they're faster. Um, they're lighter, so don't, they don't tire as easy. Although they should be pretty tired because they've been in combat. Oh, did not notice this dude. Go after that lord. If we can take the lord down, that'd be great. We pretty much wiped this unit out though. There's nine of them, so. Ready to serve. Right. Bring that dude down. Has he got a name? Didn't know the name of the person about to kill, right? His name's Helmut Ludnoff. Wow. Helmut Ludnoff? Good name, man. It's a good name. Very Germanic and sh very Germanic. Mm-hmm. Very dramatic. Alright. HP's got like 500 health. 400 health. Will he make it out? That's the question, guys. He should make it out, but I think he will. But 200 health? 100 health? 150? They're keeping it. Ah, they just got away the... Trixie Minx, damn it. Alright, he's super hurt anyway, so it's always worth round like routing. Like when they route, it's always worth chasing them down. It means that that second army normally takes two fights to kill them outright. Might they might be wiped out from that, maybe. It means you only have to fight them once instead of twice. It's always worth doing. Also gives these dudes like free XP. Levels them up, so always, always route when you can. Not route, sorry, always chase down the routers. Instead of just ending the fight straight up. Um, they are traitors, traitorous scum. I'm in no rush, so I'm not going to worry about taking them on. Uh, pardon? I mean, how are we doing for gold? It's not too bad, no. Just murder them and get that leadership. Awesome. See, there you go, that's uh, second army. They didn't live to tell the tale, right? They didn't. If I'd have just ended that fight, there'd probably still be a banner there for me to chase down again. Yep, pretty much. And you'll see an example of um, what happens when you auto resolve. So there I am moving back into my own territory so my men can start healing up and I can start recruiting. Also, check out Alt Dwarf and I can see I can upgrade my. Um, my building to level 2 so I do so and that will allow me to start recruiting flagellants next turn. Uh, I'm also checking out um, diplomacy and trying to grease a few palms and make things a bit smoother, make their uh, our, uh, neighbours like us a bit more so no one you know, uh, by surprise declares war on us. This makes the earlier game a little bit easy, no one, you know, no one necessary surprises. Uh, there are some orc scum. <laughs> um, in the area so I want to deal with them ideally first and then worry about kind of taking over other um, other areas of the city states um, I do also have a look at who I might want to start trying to confederate because that's also a valid option you don't always have to war every faction you can simply just have them absorbed into your uh, empire and I have an, I'm starting to have a look around now at who might be the ideal target. Uh, ty ideal target. I do eventually settle on, um, I think it's Wizenland because they've got the underdog trait, which just means they're more susceptible to um, to confederation. And once I spot that, I, just, I sort of home in on them. Um, but there, that's the, as you can see, there's the orcs over there. I want to start dealing with them first before I start expanding anywhere else. Yep, now I'm worrying about the recruiting and who we should put in, in the army. I uh, don't have many options really because it's only a level 1 um, structure. Um, next turn though, um, I should have more options in the way of recruiting. Yep, now it's turn 2. Yep, so I go into encampment status uh, just so I can recruit a few more men. In that case, I reckon you take Fear it. My righteous fury. There's a garrison army, but. Not a big I might auto that. Actually, I should probably avoid saves coming, shouldn't I? I always quick save. 
I'll only, like, if disaster strikes, then I'll reload. Like, if I lose Volkmar, maybe. But even then, it's not a massive deal. Because he can just come back, can't he? So. The slice of victory there, you know, it's probably better than what I would have done, to be honest. I only lost 100 men. Uh, we have... Okay, so we lost one unit, which was one of the flagellants, but they are super expendable. Uh, Occupy. Yeah, I decided to attack them before we recovered properly because there was no army in it, uh, just the garrison. There was an easy kill. Uh, we've unlocked a regiment of renown. It's done. Oh, already we got a freaking quest battle. Hmm. Hold on, let me have a look at that. Battle of Blood Pie. Oh, it's that one, okay. And I get the sword of striking from that, so that's always nice. And I also get an Altdorf Battle Wizard. Oh, that is so worth, actually. Yes, the Battle Wizards are really good. Not like uh, nine of them plus the Garrison Army, so, yeah. Volkmar! Volkmar, eh? Hmm, might have been an idea if I would have popped into the encampment stance. I might do that next turn, I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Anyway, just three flagellant the units, they are super useful. Super useful. Yep, and um, basically now what I'm deciding what my next move is, I do want to take down the Reichland Successionists, but the problem is they have an army on top of a city with their garrison as well, which means they'd have more of, um, they'd have an advantage to have more troops, so I decide to just hold back a turn and start recruiting and see what they do. I ideally want them to move off Helmgard before I take it. They have got a city wide open there with only a garrison army. Um, there is, of course, here as well, the Crooked Moon tribe there, uh, who are a threat. Not technically at war with us, but they are green skins. So it's only a matter of time, really. So I've kind of got two fronts there to worry about. It's turn four now. Uh, someone else is confederated. And I can, as you can see, they're recruiting as well as us. So no matter what happens, they are pretty much going to outnumber us. We're just going to recruit up to 20. They're going to recruit up to 20. But of course, they'll have the garrison army as well. So I decided, you know, probably best to try something else. So I think I decided in the end to go after Isleheart, which you'll see me do in a moment. Another thing I'm doing as well is just checking out the Diplomacy tab, just having a look at uh, a few other factions. Maybe I can convince a few uh, neighbouring factions to help me in the war with the Successionists, or maybe the war with the Crooked Moon that will start later on. Um, having a look at Toddbringer, he's ultimately someone I'm going to want to take over. Um, but right now I'm trying to appease him, you know, so he doesn't declare war on me until I'm ready for him. And Wizland, I think that's when I spot the underdog trait, possibly. Um, but yeah, right now, I'm just at the early game where I'm just trying to grease a few palms, make a few friends, make sure nothing un uh, undesired happens, basically. Good way to do that in the early game, uh, when, before you've got any sort of treaties established or any buildings to help with trade or anything, it's just to simply give them gifts. That's what I'm doing. It lasts for a good couple of turns as well, uh, increasing the uh, attitude towards you. Yeah, I can see that that uh, Tabotland has got um, only two settlements, but it does cover a large uh, spot on the map. So probably, perhaps one area I'd like to uh, form an alliance with, maybe. My path has been blocked. That's weird. What's going on? Uh, yeah, they are going to recruit till 20, aren't they? I need to do something about that. I really do. I doubt he's going to just move. I need to force him to move. Sigma grant me strength. Sigma has heard my prayer. Hmm, do you reckon if I go into the ambush uh, stance, he will come forth, he'll sally forth, ambush chant. If I move into this tree section, you can see on the top of the, um, it's enemy terrain because it's a red banner. And there's a little picture uh, next to the word Alha and it's a picture of a tree. Uh, there it's a picture of grass, but there it's a tree. So that means it's a forest terrain and it will give me an improved ambush chance. That's 70% there. 45% there, so it's definitely worth moving up to here. Moving. All right, so if I go here and then put the dudes into a ambush stance, hopefully 
I'm going to lure this dude out. He won't see the army and he'll try and take back a Grumberg or go for Altdorf instead of recruiting the gamble. I can't recruit him. This time. Of Sigma. <clears throat> you no. will have 18 units. 18 units versus the my 14. Of Sigma. No matter what, we are fighting with him. They're fighting him with superior numbers. Hopefully that he'll cancel maybe and or, or he'll have the units and then he'll move out. Hope that's what he does. And then obviously uh Helmgrat will be easier for the taking. And that'll be done next turn. Now I just worry about diplomacy. I'm always checking this every turn just to see if I can get any new offers. Apologies if it gets tedious, but By Sigma's will I need to come in to peace. check them. They're just Bachlin right now. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, Sally forth. Forth. Ah, damn it. One of your forces have been detected. Is that 75%? Yeah, damn it. Two. He's got two armies now he's recruiting. Kind of forced my hand, hasn't he? Sigma guides my steps. I'll go into ambush over here then. <clears throat> and I'll take Isleheart. Hmm, this is tricky. I don't know how to crack that nut. Hmm, maybe with a new general. Probably that's a good bet actually. Recruit a lord. We'll go for a um, a regular lord, I think. To strengthen the empire. On march. All right. So since the army can't recruit, we'll um, recruit some men here. That's pretty much what I'm doing now. I'm just building up a big army as big as possible. Um, the officers is one of uh, the empire's unique features. It's not the only uh, faction to have officers and, and positions like that. Um, but they do offer unique bonuses, like you'll see there, the Castilian Engineer will give us um, recruitment, um, sorry, structure discounts, which is something you'll want, especially early game. Um, having a look here at Grumberg, it's kind of on the edges of our borders. Uh, and I'd look to um, increase, I'm looking to increase our income generated per turn, so I'm looking at uh, investing in agricultural uh, buildings, things like um, pastures and fields and that's mostly just because if you can see on the Grunberg it's got that um, green uh, leaf symbol and just means it's a unique um, there's a unique pastures area in there which I can exploit and build a unique building on there so I do but I do need to deal with the successionists who now have two armies um, who do greatly outnumber us and you'll see how I tackle that in just a moment for the war we need the gold for the war. Oh boy, that ain't great. He has Sally Force, but we did catch his new unit, which is good. Uh, they're probably dead. Yeah. Oh, he still lives. That's sweet. Water resolve is good and all, but you never really finish them off on the first go. You gotta waste movement doing it. Um, execute them. Oh, thank god they didn't run into the city. That would have sucked. Orders. Oh, they are going to get heretic. reinforcements from Helmgard. Interesting. It doesn't matter though, because if we wipe these dudes out, then the city's pretty much ours for the taking. Go for it, man. Do it. Decisive victory again. Execute them, and now we've got Helmgart for the taking, really. I'm pretty sure. Regiment of Renown unlocked a free company militia. Interesting. Enemy killed in battle. Oh, follow it. Done it. Very good, very good, very good. And Helmgarts, which are all messed up because they sallied forth. They, were, they, they came to aid their uh, allies in that last fight. Uh, we've got a banner here, which will give us... Ooh, gives us increased leadership. Who should we give that to? Hmm. 
Who needs it? I don't think. Maybe just give it to these dudes then. Since they're unique. They can have the banner. Yes, we now have this city. Decisive victory. Oh, we got some armor. Armor of fortune. That looks cool. What's this do? Ooh, plus six. Physical resistance eight. Ward save is good too. Wow. Any type of damage is reduced by this amount. Wow, that's really cool. Nice. And we'll take it. Sigma be praised. Uh, we've already got some armor. I think it's just telling you. So we got two armors of fortune. The instrument of Weird. Sigma's just, just, just like put them one over the other. Back them. I think that's how that works, isn't it? 